Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're gonna check out what's new in Apple's latest update to Final Cut Pro 10. Earlier today, Apple released a new update to its popular editing suite, which introduces a bevy of new features, making this a rather substantial update. The new update introduced support for workflow extensions that will allow editors to use third-party applications and services directly inside of the Final Cut Pro app. The workflow extensions have been designed to match the look of Final Cut Pro, making everything feel very familiar and easy to navigate. Popular extensions include Frame.io, which enhances post-production, Shutterstock, which allows for browsing and purchasing stock footage, and CatDV for media asset management. Workflow extensions for Final Cut Pro can be downloaded from the Mac App Store starting today, with Apple planning to add additional third-party Final Cut Pro extensions on an ongoing basis. So for this example, I downloaded the new Shutterstock app that integrates perfectly with Final Cut Pro. In past iterations, users would have to exit out of Final Cut Pro, pull up a web browser, and go to the Shutterstock website to download footage and import into your timeline. In Final Cut Pro 10.4.4, users can simply select the Extensions button, and all of your downloaded extensions will be available to open. So in this case, I open the Shutterstock app, and I can now search for stock footage, music, images, and more, all within Final Cut Pro, and once I find the files that I need, I can download them and create a library filled with all of my Shutterstock media. Also new in 10.4.4 is the ability to batch multiple clips or projects in one step. So this can easily be done by selecting the clips that you wish to share. So for this example, I'll choose five random clips and then head into File, and here you'll see the Share Five Clips option. Apple also introduced a new comparison viewer window for Final Cut, which allows editors to view reference images while working on color grading. With this comparison viewer, I can now have a clip open from my timeline, and then I can scrub through other shots on my timeline and select a different clip for reference. So this will help a lot when I'm trying to match colors from shots that might have been filmed on different cameras or in different lighting situations. The update also carries a new floating timecode window to make it easy for video editors to follow along with color-coded clip names, roles, project timecodes, and source codes. Finally, new noise reduction tools are designed to minimize artifacts in low-light footage, and they can be easily found and applied via the effects panel under Basic and Noise Reduction. Even though this is technically an incremental update, these little features can be a big upgrade to some Final Cut Pro users, depending on what their needs are. So be sure to check out the new version of Final Cut Pro 10 in the App Store today, and also you can check out a complete list of new features, and of course, be sure to let us know what features you're most excited about in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.